We are here with another tactic mm, session. Mm, we are down a queen, but we have two rooks and two minor pieces. Basically, a rook and a minor piece for a queen. Check at e8. Expels the king forward or downward. Mm. What is really the weakness here? What is the weakness in voice camp? I really don't see it. No, I see something. I can give a check with the B rook and then attack the queen with the G rook. But then what? Attack the queen with the G rook or with the bishop. Can I attack it with the bishop? I can, but it's not useful. So I check with the E rook and then goes anywhere. The king goes anywhere and then I attack with the rook. Queen doesn't have many places to go. It can go to A5 or... Or... This six, I believe. Any other place? No, there is no other place. A5 on D6. The common point about this too is that I can attack it, attack to both of them with the knight. That's interesting, right? Is it a coincidence? So I can attack them with the knight, but does that it imply i don't know i i will attack it with the queen no i will attack it with the knight i attack the queen with the knight and queen goes somewhere else where is this somewhere else actually i guess it's c5 most likely uh, because because uh yeah, let's give this check first. Because uh, a five a a four cannot be the case after knight. My knight is a c four at that moment. Then I go and check the king at b two and win a queen. So after I attack the queen with knight, it uh, okay. So this is the scenario. I go g seven with rook. Queen goes to d six or a five. Then I attack it with the knight. Then uh, I expel queen, but then I give a check with the knight and I win a... Okay, gives up. Uh, this is important. The, the Before I go further here, if he was moving the queen, I was giving a check and mating the opponent. I'm thinking since queen doesn't have any way to go, anywhere to go, right? I don't need to capture this rook. I just can, because I'm mating, I don't need a rook. Just can move my king and okay, I, I uh, accept the queen. Just quickly to show you what was happening if he was moving the queen. <coughs> sorry, if he was moving the queen, this was mate. So he had to give up the queen to release some score. And he actually did it in a good way. No, I'm thinking about attacking the queen with the rook. If he takes my rook, I'm happy because I mate in the back rank. Of course, he doesn't take. Oh, I have a sick move. Attacking queen from d4 with the queen. In this case, if he takes my queen, I'm happy. All right, if it doesn't take on my queen, I'm happy. Wow, that's sick. Oh boy, I got just five points. I, I should have moved it faster before without explanation. This is what chess.com wants from us. So if I take the bishop, it's for free, right? Is it the thing that I want? No, I don't want bishop, I want mate. But can I mate actually? This is a question. Uh, what is the mate? Uh, take the pawn with check and then um, check with the rook. Uh, apparently it's a mate, right? 
Yes, if I was get taking bishop, he had no chance to escape. But no, he didn't. Mm, take the pawn with check and mate it. No, unfortunately, it's not a mate. But but is this a queen or exchange or something like that? Bishop g5. Where does the queen go? Queen escapes, obviously. Another option I'm checking is uh check from back right okay uh let's see this option uh, bishop g5 if takes with the rook i take back and then i will be mated wow <laughs> cool cool the bad thing is exactly this i'm getting mated if it wasn't that then i had many options like queen a8 is another option. Queen a8 check. King go on, king cannot go up. Uh, rook move goes in front. Then check with the bishop. Takes with the king. Take the uh, rook with the queen. But unfortunately, oh, what was this? Yes, but unfortunately, I will be mated. Mm, yeah, uh, I will be mated with queen takes. Uh, H pawn. So this queen threat is for real. Check in the back rank. Rook goes on. Check with the queen. Uh, with the rook. Uh, king just moves. Uh, I was thinking taking the rook with the queen and then check with the rook. But it doesn't help. Mm. Oh, I'm thinking about this case. Check in the back rank, rook goes on, take the pawn with the rook, check, and there's only one option, to take it with the king. And then, okay, no, it doesn't work, unfortunately, then I was thinking, check with the queen at you know, like b7, and king goes on, then mate at h7, but unfortunately, after check on b7, he plays rook f7 and i'm stuck if i put it differently i can think about the case that i just try to exchange queens right if only uh, only if i exchange queens then then I'm happy, right? Uh, uh, am I or I'm not? What if a slow move of like bishop uh, h6? Bishop h6. What does he play? He retreat the queen, for example. Bishop h6 because I'm threatening to take the pawn. I, um, I don't know. I don't know. I think I cannot even threat taking the pawn because once I make such a threat, he, uh, I take the pawn with the bishop. He will play rook g5. Yes, sacrificing a rook because he can mate me on h3 with the queen. So I don't see any good move actually. I want to move on something randomly because I don't want to think forever. Maybe queen g3 is a good move. Expelling the queen because we are okay right now, material wise. We are up a piece down an exchange and pawns. A lot of pawns actually. It's not just one or two, three pawns. It's too much. So I'm convincing myself that check from the back rank is something that I should give.
check back rank then go up with the queen another check rook comes in front then check with the bishop takes take the rook i have no clue what to do or i make a natural neutral move of queen g3 this is certainly not the case so let's go with the check in the back rank of course i cannot check with the bishop what if i take the pawn and check with the queen then take the pawn i was thinking thinking about check at b7 but maybe check at g2 is even better Mm, is it or it's not maybe first at b7 and once the rook comes on because he cannot move the king upward i believe or can he i think he cannot move the king upward or he can maybe he can move the king upward hmm very difficult time queen g2 check king goes to goes to for example f6 for example why f6 because you know anyway after that i have queen g6 check f6 f7 or ah queen king can go to actually h8 and i have nothing right so I think B7. Oh, I didn't want to play this. I want to play B7. Okay. Anyway, I was wrong. Take the pawn. Attack the. No. Yes. Take the pawn. Attack the knight. If he takes, we take the. A rook and we are very good otherwise he doesn't take we take the other pawn okay take the pawn i take the queen or no we take the pawn i take the queen No. What to do here? Give a check with the bishop because mm, also attacks the rook. Takes, give a next check with the queen. Uh, okay, if it doesn't take, if it does move the uh, king, for example, I simply take his rook, and this is at least an exchange because he cannot capture my rook as his queen is under attack. So, uh, takes, I uh, check with the queen, moves the bishop, moves the king, and then I win the knight. Okay, let's do it. Oh, finished? Yes, that was today's story.